give us a bit better idea how to apply Kohlberg's theory of moral development, let's have a look at how he um, developed the idea himself and where these categories actually come from. And I think that helps us, A, um, connect to and understand the theory a little bit better, and B, also demonstrates how to apply the model. I think importantly also it really highlights that what matters is not the actual decision but the actor's motivation behind it. So that's the link to this week's theme about the actor, it's how the actor is approaching it. So how did Kohlberg go about coming up with this theory? So what he did was study a group of 72 boys in Chicago for 20 years. So one of the first things you'll see is that you can really see the model reflect um, reflect the, the, the development of humans, okay, of most humans, and the reasoning, particularly the reasoning of most humans, um, as, as they get older. And so this is this idea of moral development being behind the model. So how did he study them? Well, he said that there were, he gave them or came up with 10 different dilemmas and then interviewed the boys about these dilemmas and why they would decide what they would decide about each of them. So we're just going to look at one, the, the Heinz Dilemma. So in the Heinz Dilemma, we have a per, this person, H. Heinz, whose wife is dying from cancer. There's a drug being discovered by a local chemist, but it's going to cost 10 times what it makes, what it costs to make the drug, and Heinz can't afford it. So essentially, you've got a dying wife and you can't afford the medicine. He's already gone in and tried to see, can I get it for less money because I can't pay for it? And the chemist refuses, saying, I've discovered the drug and I need to make money for it, from it. So later, later that night, Heinz breaks in and steals the drug. Okay, so the question is, is stealing the drug, is stealing the drug ethical? And so what we're interested here is the reasoning. Now you'll remember level one, stage one was about uh, avoiding punishment, right? So if, you, if the rationale is that Heinz shouldn't steal the drug because he'll go to jail, right? the rationale for not stealing is to avoid punishment. If the rationale was Heinz should steal the drug so his family's wife won't take out revenge on him, Again, he's doing the action to avoid a negative consequence of punishment. So stealing or not stealing is irrelevant. It's the avoiding punishment that's the necessary understanding to say this is a stage one, level one. In stage two, we see the reasoning um, evolve from avoiding punishment uh, to some form of immediate exchange or benefit to the decision maker. So Heinz should steal the drug, then he won't be alone. So he's going to get something from it, the continued uh, company of his wife. Heinz should not steal the drug, as then he won't have to pay to support his wife. So if he didn't like her too much, what he's going to get out of it is, is a benefit in terms of money. So he's not going to steal for that. Okay, so really here we can see again, it's the rationale, not the actual action. In stage three, Heinz should steal the drug, as then his family and friends will think highly of him. He saved his wife's life. Hein should not steal the drug because, um, because the family and friends, if the family, friends and peer group think it's wrong. Okay. Again, we've got these close people thinking it's wrong. So again, he's basing his actions on the motivation of those close to him. Okay. Really close to him. And stage four, you shouldn't steal the drug because it's against the law. So there's a broad, um, uh, there's a broad rationale for a broad social group, right? Society that says there's this law against it, so you shouldn't do it. Heinz should steal the drug, as society thinks it's a duty as a husband to look after your wife. Again, the motivation here, whoop, the motivation is a broad uh, society's view. Finally, uh, you should not steal the drug as it's in the public interest for medical discoveries to be compensated, or you should steal the drug as the right to life is paramount. Again, aligns with a framework of ethics. They can be different frameworks, leads to different outcomes. So it's not the outcome, it's the alignment with the framework of the law, and in this one, he, he decides to, to not steal or to steal 
he will break the law okay because of ethic because of ethics ethical principles so the really big thing to emphasize is that it doesn't matter, and these easier ones make it clearer, it doesn't matter whether you steal or not steal. The issue is what is the motivation? That determines what stage we actually in in terms of um, Kohlberg's theory of moral development. If you read a bit more deeply about Kohlberg, um, he does um, posit that there are gender differences around uh, ethical development. That's been quite criticised and it probably has a lot to do with who he studied. He only actually studied boys, etc. in this framework. So I think you have to take the idea of the framework. It's a good conceptual one, but there may well be gaps in it based upon how it was done. Remembering it's a descriptive based upon research, right? So if it's descriptive based upon research and we have a biased sample, which we do, the outcome might be biased. Um, a, a, a nice criticism of it comes from Gilligan, um, who actually suggests that for various reasons, uh, different genders on, in, on average might look at ethics in a little bit differently, which meant that the framework is somewhat incomplete. And she actually proposed this idea of the ethics of care as a remedy for that. We, we don't have enough time to get into all of that in any detail, but it's worth a look if you're interested. Okay, so that's it for our third framework. Uh, hopefully by now you've got enough uh, to get a really good start on that assessment piece. We've looked at what ethics is, um, judging an ethical um, decision or action based upon the consequences or whether it's the right thing to do, and also judging it by um, the actor, what a virtuous actor would do. Uh, next week, we start looking at a different level of analysis. We looked at the system. We try and judge a system ethically when we look at justice. So look forward to that.